did horrible things to us. They are dead now, but there was another prisoner, a man in rags. Yes, the man with the golden eyes. I saw Magda take him into Leoric's old torture chambers below us. Magda dies today. I have done things that haunt me, Templar. Things I regret. You regret nothing because your memories were taken from you. I understand. You wish that you could be cleansed of your sins as I have. Never. Remembering my past tells me who I am. But you, you don't remember a damn thing. The Order tells who you are. How do you know the Order's not lying to you about your sins? I cannot lie. That has occurred to me. But if it were true, it would ruin everything I fight for. Everything. How did you become a thief? Well, that's a long and terrible story that you wouldn't want to hear. You found something you liked and couldn't afford. Basically. Maybe you should be more reasonable in the future. Oh, there was nothing reasonable about her. I knew Leoric was mad. This is just disgusting. were performing a strange ritual when I saw them today. One of their number stood soundlessly, while others thrust long spikes deep into his spine. He did not perish. And I believe that he may have even been darkly empowered from the implantation, though such terrible magic is foreign to me. that some malevolent being is attempting to wrest control of my thoughts away from me. Voices direct me to horrendous acts, and there are times when I seem unable to control my body. Lazarus knows. This is certain. He looks at me strangely when he thinks me otherwise disposed.
I am Asilla, once queen to our beloved Leoric. My servants and I were consumed by his madness. Now I give you my blessing, champion, to release my people from their eternal torment. Not enough fury. Smile on me. Champion, my servants are now free, but the curse over this place remains. Seek the warden at the dungeon center and end his evil forever.
for Kathos guides my hand. My lord, the prisoner is ready as you requested. Thank you, Lazarus. Your loyalty is invaluable in the midst of all these traitors. And you, my dear, my own wife and queen, conspiring against our kingdom. My love, I swear, I have never betrayed you. Lies, until the very end. The time of my lord's true awakening is at hand. That fool, the Yorick, was only able to resist him because he did not yet possess his full power. With the queen dispatched as a traitor, I may now devote myself fully to preparing the boy for the presence of my master. dungeons than some rulers have in their entire kingdoms. Clea must be back in Tristram crying over the old man's corpse. She'll soon have another one to cry over. Yours. Meet the Butcher. Take half now, and then half when we get back to town. The truth about the Butcher Demon was more startling than I ever anticipated. 
Evidently, there are many of them within the burning hells. Though they used to be solely under Diablo's command. The butchers are stitched together from the parts of other demons to combine their strengths. Then, given life through wicked magic. A gift for me. Why did you leave Kingsport? I wanted to see the world before I died. You got caught stealing from someone important, didn't you? It was such a tempting prize. Angel, take up your sword. My sword? I remember now. I was an archangel of the high heavens. I was the embodiment of justice. I was, I am, Tyrael. You have restored my mind, friend. And now, I remember the warning I came to deliver. Belial and Asmodan, the last lords of hell, are unleashing a tide of darkness that will drown this world. Already, Belial's shadow has fallen upon Chaldeum. I fear no demon. I will cast Belial down and spit on his corpse. We must move quickly. Let us return to Tristram and make ready. Tell by the look in your eye that you're not going to leave it alone. You want to hear what happened to my father? You hold too many things in, Blacksmith. You should be free with your passions, good or ill. Right, well, my father tried to dispel the rumors about my grandfather. No one would listen. Then one night, a week later, crazed refugees from Tristram came for revenge. I remember my father screaming for us to get out. And nasty laughter. A lot of it. Just before justice shoved me out the window, I saw my father crawling up the stairs at me. A two daggers in his back, and a third whipping round his throat. Did you take your revenge on the men that did this to your father? For years, I wanted to. But the refugees moved on. Vanished. So I left revenge behind, and got on with my life. Do you ever doubt your choices? Never. Things never seem to turn out like I hope they will. There is always choice. Try living in the slums before you lecture me. Perhaps. Time grows short, my friends. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Chaldea. But how will we find him? We won't have to. Magda and her coven will lead us straight to him. I'm not going anywhere until Uncle Deckard's been laid to rest. Deckard deserves that honor. Magda and Belial will pay for his death in blood. I have called for a caravan to guide us to the east. Speak to the caravan master when you are ready to go. We will see to Cain as we depart.
Who are Belial and Asmodan? Belial is the Lord of Lies. He desires power before all other things, and his thousand schemes are designed toward this end. His brother, Asmodan, reigns over the other half of Hell as the Lord of Sin. I sense his influence in this world, but I do not yet know where he will strike. Belial may lead us to him. They are more rivals than allies in these days, but I pray that you are right. My friend, shall we depart to Chaldeum? strictly forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice, while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. It, Uncle. I will carry on for you. 